welcome to a Beyond Belief Spy Glass. In this video, my son Denali, Hi. the inspiration for Kenai, is going to interview me, the author of the book, about a topic in the book. Stay tuned. All right. So, so what do you want to ask me about? So, I wanted to ask you about um, this thing that Zach says. Kenai's so, dad? Yeah. In, uh, in the video uh, what that Kenai finds, um, and there oh, that video that they part, find yeah, in the safe? A, yes. Yeah. Um, there's a part in that video where um, Zach, uh, where Zach, Kenai's dad, talks about um, the fact that some, uh, some um, statistically more people are believe like weird things like monsters and orbs and demon hauntings. <laughs> yeah. And stuff like that, then you know, real things like the Big Bang and science. Yeah, yeah. a lot of science. Is that true? Yeah, it's totally true. It's totally true. That's scary. It kind of is, and I mean, it's part of the reason why I wanted to write the books, and I wanted to kind of, sort of, get this message out that critical thinking is really important. Like right now. If you were to just kind of randomly take a person in the U.S., just at random, and you were to ask them about their beliefs, there's a, there's a very good likelihood that they believe, they're more likely to believe that something like the lost continent of Atlantis was a technologically advanced civilization than they are to believe in that the Big Bang happened. Right? So like 39% of Americans right now believe that the Big Bang actually happened. And the, and 70% don't? <laughs> well, the numbers might have changed since they, they took that survey, which was back in 2018. But that was the numbers then. And maybe it's better, but I don't know. And right now there is a lot of misinformation going on. There's a lot of misinformation. And, you know, you know about 58% of people believe yeah. that hauntings are real. Yeah. 50, I think it's like one in five people think that Bigfoot might be real. Like there's a lot of people that believe a lot of really strange things. And when you compare that to actual science education and real facts about reality, then it's just, it's kind of disheartening. But here's the thing that's really concerning and why it's so important to get good at critical thinking. And that's this. Research has shown that if you believe in one of these kind of weird but harmless things, then you're more likely to believe in things that are much more serious and wrong, like conspiracy theories. Like, like that vaccines cause autism. Exactly. You're more likely to believe something like that if you already believe in something like Atlantis or Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot or something like that. Those things are connected. So you have to be skeptical and use critical thinking about kind of fun, strange ideas. And that helps you to stay kind of safe when it comes to more dangerous conspiracy theory type ideas. And that's why critical thinking is so important. And that's why it's important to stay skeptical. Stay skeptical. That's our motto. <laughs>